Hey, Tony. It's Friday. And first off, to answer your question of the week, my best guess would probably be about 35 to 40 pounds. That, that's my guess. Um, I'm not positive, but that's my best guess currently. I will know a little bit more when I take my trip up to Mount Washington in a couple months just to kind of like eye it all around, see like, okay, so here's where we're going to be camping, here's where we need to get to get to the base of the mountain, uh, and decide like, hey, what are we doing with cars? Because that, that's going to be a big decider of how much are we carrying, am I going to have to get like a new tent, or am I just going to be able to like bring up my tent and just throw it in the car? So the answer is, I'm going to guess 35 to 40 pounds, but the real answer is, we'll see. Um, or, you know, my favorite, the attorney answer, it depends. Oh my god. Uh, so I'm sure you can see I'm really rocking the mountain man beard right now. But that's just because I've been really lazy lately and just don't really care. Because you can't tell in virtual court, you just can't. Uh, but what I want to talk about this week is not my mountain man beard. But instead, I think it's time for another rendition of Josh's podcast recommendations. But da 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 yeah, that's 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 the theme song now for my podcast recommendations. So, you have a major own theme song. <laughs> it was even terrible. Ju Justice is cringing from the. Stop doing it. <laughs> um. So, as you know, as you know, I drive a lot for work, and I drive a lot to go hiking. I drive a lot. It's kind of what I do <laughs> to get to wherever where I need to go, because you know. America doesn't really have the best public transport systems, especially during a, during a pandemic. So I've been listening to a lot of podcasts, and I think it's been several months since I lasted my podcast recommendations, so here's some ones that I recommend I think people might enjoy. So one I'm going to definitely recommend, the one I've been listening to the most, is one that I think I've recommended in, in the past, but it would have been like I would have just started listening to it in my first podcast recommendation. But it's the Pirate History Podcast by Matt Albers. I've mentioned it in previous videos because it's a really good podcast. Um, I think I started a few months ago. I'm about 110 episodes in. So I'm about, half, I'm about halfway to being caught up. It's really good. Um, we're just about to really, like, what he's doing right now, the host, is going over, like, the story so far. At least that's where I'm at is the story so far. So every single thing that he's discussed for the past 100, the past 100 episodes... We're doing a recap on it. It's been great because, you know, some of these episodes I listened to a long time ago. So I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So that's really excellent. I really recommend it. Another one that's a new one that I've picked up is called Legends of the Old West. Um, it's really, really good. I've only listened to a few episodes of it, but it takes it really takes a deep look at some of the tales and stories of of the wild of the American wild frontier. Um, like the very first episode is about the, uh, Bill Doolin gang or the, sorry, the, the Dalton gang and their failed raid on Coffeeville that, you know, led with, that ended up in four, in the four members deaths. And it was really interesting to learn about. Uh, I was currently, cur currently learning more about the uh, Texas Rangers right now, which is kind of cool because they are the oldest, the oldest, um, active law enforcement agency in the country. So there's obviously a lot of history there, and that's been really cool to learn about. That's not the one. I, that's not the podcast I've been listening to the most lately because it's one I want to be in the mood for, and I want to be in a Wild West mood. I, I pop it on, and it's been really good. Uh, my fav I have a new favorite Star Wars podcast too. It's called Chatter Squadron. It's the way they describe it is your weekly dose of Star Wars news and positivity. That's exactly what it is. It's two guys from Ohio actually who are just chatting about Star Wars, giving some news, giving some fun little games in there. It's been a really nice, refreshing podcast to listen to. The Star Wars fandom is known for being real toxic. And so this is really nice to see uh, this really positive fan uh, fan podcast out there. In fact, they had like a little special thing they did the, uh, a couple weeks ago that they were like, on your social medias, if you do anything involving Star Wars... Make hashtag positive squad because we want to make more positivity in the fandom, and that's really cool. It's been really fun to listen to. The guys are the guys seem to be really cool, and it's one I definitely recommend. And the podcast, the other podcast I listen to a lot lately that I actually caught up with today is Tales from the Witcher. So what Tales from the Witcher is is it's novelized versions of this guy's tabletop uh, Witcher tabletop role playing game. 
he novelizes the sessions. It's been really cool to listen to. Especially because I, as a graduation gift, got Theo the Witcher, the Witcher book because he was really excited about it when I mentioned it to him. So I got it to him as a graduation gift. And he got it today and he's just like, this is so good. So him, he's gonna be, he, him and I are planning on kind of co-running a game. He's going to be the systems guy and I'm going to be the lore guy because I know a lot about the Witcher. And that's probably going to end up being a real fun thing that I'm looking forward to. But Tales from the Witcher has been really fun to listen to. Because it adds, it adds some fun fan fiction to, to the world of The Witcher, which is so, like, it's so ripe for it. And I've really enjoyed it. Like I said, I caught up with it today because it's a podcast I listen to when I'm driving or if I'm, I can listen to it at work. Because nothing's necessarily important because it's just stories. But it's not like, you know, if I'm listening to the Pirate History podcast where if I get busy at work, I, may, I might miss some of the new, some of the information, some of the history, and then I'll be a little lost a couple, like, in the next episode. Whereas Tales from the Witcher hasn't really been that way because it's just been a real fun novel. A bunch of short stories that I've really enjoyed listening to. So those are some of my podcast recommendations. So Disc Tony. Only. Yes, and Disc Only, thank you. Disc Only is a great one. Uh, so it's run by a bunch of YouTubers. Uh, it's Proton John, Josh Jepsen, Stephen Plays, and 8-Bit Drummer. Uh, Tom Fox, you mean. Oh, Tom Fox. Sorry. What was it? It was Tom Fox, not... Tom Fox, not... Uh, Josh Jepsen. Okay, sorry, Tom Fox, not jo Josh Jepsen. Tom Fox is a great guy, so he's he's really fun. Um, but it's there are a bunch of YouTubers that we watch pretty regularly, so it, it's a, it's a pretty cool podcast to listen to. So if you get the, if you want to listen to just like a bunch of nerds talking about nerdy stuff, but also with a little bit of life in there, I definitely recommend Disc Only. Outback Stab House. <laughs> Outback Stab House. So Tony, my question for you is: Have you ever been to Outback Stab House? Tony, oh, I'll I see hope, you on Monday. I hope Later, not. bro.